The side scrolling template is designed to get you quickly into making a side scrolling game. Something more like a Super Mario Brothers or an older game like that. Now it comes with a gamepad and keyboard input. You get access locked movement and then you get basic animations. Let's go ahead and look at the template and how it runs. If we run it, we get our basic mannequin character and I can move him left or right. But pushing in the up or down direction does not move him into the forward or near direction. We are constrained to going left and right on basically a flat plane. Up also stimulates jump and if you notice, you can navigate fairly well. It's a simple template. It's intended to get your character to do something left and right and to basically remove the depth dimension that you'd see in a traditional third person and this is more of a 2D side scroller but without the 2D this is a 3D side scroller. Now with some time and effort it can be expanded upon and you can improve this into something like this. This is the platformer example that's available in the learn tab in the marketplace and this basically takes the side scroller template and just gives it fluff. This is meant more of an auto runner. We'll go and run through this and you can check it out. And we get things such as a cutscene when it starts up to give you a little bit of a story along with some sound. In addition to this, you're going to get the ability to have input that goes in and out based on the input from the player. Like in this case, it's asking us to hit spacebar repeatedly. Each time we do it, it keeps track of it until our character comes out and we go through a basic tutorial. This is set up in an auto runner fashion, so the character doesn't move left or right, they just go up or down, jumping or sliding. You can notice we have some little time lapse effects using the time dilation nodes and things like that. At the top we have a basic user interface. The user interface gives us information such as how long we've been playing for and if we're going to successfully make it to the end in time. The timer itself will go up or down and speeds up and slows down based on the time dilation as well. So the nice thing is, even if your player is slowed down, for example, by the tutorial or a special effect such as sliding, the timer itself will still have the proper values. Now once we actually get to the end of this, there are actually two different endings. One of them if you successfully make it before the time is up, and then one of them if you don't make it and you're able to fail. And if you do make it successfully, it actually has a leaderboard at the end. You notice here we were unsuccessful, we were too slow, and we weren't added to the leaderboard. This is an example of what you could expand upon and create from the simple side scroller template. You have your basic character movement, you have the ability to go left and right, up and down, and you have the ability to have animations keyed to those movements. Based on that, you expand upon it. You give it, for example, some extra art. This is a multi-levered, multi-level, layered, multi-layered level, there we go, where we have multiple platforms up and down. Our character itself simply moves to the right automatically. So inside of our character, instead of allowing input from left or right, we just simply add right input every single frame. So that's it. This is what our side scroller template gives us and what we can accomplish with it.